Hey scientists, let's talk about ch 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 changes. Have you ever noticed that sometimes when you change things, you can change it back, but other times you can't, and it's stuck like that forever? This morning, I decided to make myself some breakfast before leaving the house. I got out a frozen smoothie from the freezer and set it on the counter to melt, and then I got out a piece of bread and put it in the toaster. Right as I was about to eat, I realized I was late and did not have time to eat anymore. I threw my smoothie back into the freezer, but I couldn't figure out how to undo toasting my bread to put it back up. That's because you can't. Sometimes when you make a change, it's permanent. Why is that? Well, let's take a look. There are two different types of changes, physical and chemical changes. Physical changes are what happens when something's appearance changes but the composition stays the same, while chemical changes are when something's composition changes and something new is made. I know, I know, you're probably like, okay, but what does that mean? Well, the easiest way to think about it is to ask yourself two questions. Can I undo this? And was something completely new made? When you look at a physical change, they can all be reversed or undone. When you look at a chemical change, something new is always made and it cannot be reversed or undone. Let's take a look at some physical changes. First, let's focus on changing states of matter. Say you have a liquid. It could be water, but that's kind of boring. I want to talk about soda. We all know from previous lessons and experiences that this liquid deliciousness can be frozen. Nothing is as tasty as eating a frozen soda on a hot summer day. We also know that if you leave that frozen soda out too long, it just melts and goes back to its original state. That's how all states of matter are. Solids, liquids, and gases are really easy to change back and forth. All you have to do is change the temperature. So, if you have a liquid boiling and turning into water vapor, ask yourself, can I undo this? Yes. If you put a cold bowl over the boiling water to catch the steam, the vapor will decrease in temperature and change states back to liquid water. Other physical changes include both mixtures and solutions. Let's make a mixture of iron filings and sand. Can I undo this? Yes, really easily in fact. All I have to do is pass a magnet over my mixture and it pulls out all of the iron filings for me. So this is a physical change. If I zoom into my molecules and atoms, I can see that even though I mix the sand and iron, they're still the same on a molecular level and haven't changed in composition. What about solutions? Well, let's take some water and add some poppin' pink lemonade. When I look at the solution on the counter, I can see that the lemonade is the same color as the lemonade powder and it didn't change colors. It didn't make something new. If I looked at the molecules, I would see that the water and the lemonade haven't changed composition. But can it be undone? Yup. All I have to do is boil the water long enough and will evaporate and leave the poppin' pink lemonade powder in the bottom. Let's take a look at chemical changes. Remember, I won't be able to undo any chemical changes, and whatever we're looking at will undergo a change in composition, meaning something new will be made. This could be a change in color, releasing smoke, or making a new compound. The easiest example of chemical change is burning. Burning anything will always, always result in a chemical change. Let's burn some matches. The matches release smoke, which is a brand new substance. But can we undo this change? Nope. Almost all baking falls under chemical changes as well from baking chicken to cookies and from pies to potatoes. Let's take a look at those cookies. To make cookies, first you add sugar, flour, water, eggs, butter, and chocolate chips into a sticky mixture. Remember, up to this point, it's just a physical change because I could undo this, but something happens when I put that yummy cookie dough into the oven. Let's take a closer look at the molecules. My sucrose, or sugar, is changing into caramel. And when that happens, the heat is breaking down the bonds in the sucrose forming two new sugar molecules, glucose and fructose. The same thing happens in the proteins in the eggs and butter as I bake as well. If I were to bite into the cookie once they've come out of the oven, I'd be able to tell that they tasted different and that they've changed color. This is a chemical change. Any type of chemical reaction is also a chemical change. If you've ever made elephant toothpaste in a lab, well, it's not really toothpaste, but it's a chemical reaction that creates colored foam and heat. 
It's another example of a chemical change. As we look at some new questions, let's remember our two big questions that will help us decide whether something's a chemical or a physical change. Can the change be undone? And did the change make something new?